Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Craig Parsons here, sports as always. And yet, we're back for another podcast with my four friends from last week. Having a bit of a problem uploading the fourth part, but they'll be up by the time the first part is going for this one. Don't know, but we'll hopefully get it up soon. Um, as always, as, as I just said earlier, four of us are back. Um, five of us are back, even the four, these four guys are all back. Um, going to do a little bit of a less informative episode this week. Uh, not a huge amount. Is that even possible? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Depends what your class is informative because they're absolute <laughs> nonsense. It could just get spouting. <laughs> it's going to be a lot less informative this time. But I've actually not shared the running order with these guys. I've got a few questions I'm going to ask them. Very well. Experiences from their footballing from their footballing time, and um, hopefully we'll get some good answers. Get some. You know, good feedback and all this kind of stuff. Um, as always, guys, remember subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment anything that may be related to the content we're about to do for you today. Subscribe. Um, <laughs> 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 we'll go straight into it, gentlemen. I've got four questions to ask you. Two of them oh. is going to be two and two, basically. Um, so I'm just wanting you to get your thoughts on it. They are very basic questions. Kind of That's coming. routine questions, nothing too hard. It's all about what you've experienced over your lifetime watching football. The first question well, I have... Only watches is Scottish football. The, the first pair of questions I've got is, what is the best game you've been to in your oh. lifetime? So that can be either the best football game you've been to or the best atmosphere you've experienced or anything along those lines. And what is the biggest game you've been to? So in terms of, <laughs> I can hear the long one. Oh, shit. So, that's no mal. That's coming from Sean. That's it's coming from Sean. <laughs> oh, that's my laptop. That's my laptop fan. It's my laptop. I don't want laptop on it. Good tackle. Let's edit that one out. We might not. But, um, yeah. so what's the biggest, what's the best game you've been to in terms of the game itself, the atmosphere, whatever you like? And what is the biggest game you've been to in terms of magnitude, in terms of event, um, so on and so forth? Now, I might his, I might be so quick to assume that for Sean and Don, being St Johnston fans, that they might no. be both into one here, but there no. might well be others. And no, I, be... also, I've also, I also know that Sean may have a <laughs> I don't know the fans are totally going help like going to build thing here like Honestly, um, <laughs> oh, please do take oh. off. I'll try to the judge it. Just crash it. <laughs> so um Patty, Patty, hold on, this is ridiculous, Patty. Come on, sort him out. I'll mute my audio. Stop that recording. Start again. <laughs> right. So Sean's going to mute himself so at the moment. We'll come back to him once uh, he figures himself out. We'll go to Lewis first, since I might have a little bit um, less of an idea. Well, I've got maybe more of an idea, but maybe less of an idea for this one. But Lewis, the best game you've been to in terms of game atmosphere, whatever you like to describe about it. Um, one that sticks out for me, Patty, was actually with you. And it was it was not long ago, and probably not best game in terms of football uh, viewing, but atmosphere was uh, Inverness away to Hibs Scottish Cup. Yeah. yeah. Um. Obviously, Hibs won five two, but I think we kind of both stopped watching after it went to like two 0 So, yeah. I atmosphere yeah. in that game was great. Uh, which was. Not any thanks to the Hibs fans at all. It was purely the away end. They were, um, they were quite considering, quiet. Yeah. Obviously, for us coming from Sterling, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. But loads mm-hmm. of guys coming on a Friday night down from Inverness down to Edinburgh, and then uh, not having any public transport to get back as well. Yeah, and I can't mind how many how many away fans were there, but there was a good <laughs> few hundred. So. I could. Um, so I that's probably that's probably best atmosphere. Um, yeah. In terms of best game, that's a tough one. Probably uh, 
Scotland at home to Slovakia, where mm. again the atmosphere was amazing. But that was a really good game because I think Scotland were brilliant that night and obviously got the winner last minute. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's that's definitely up there off the top of my head. But. So you got the two best there. Yeah, I remember the Hibs Hibs and Maness game. That was something I didn't really expect. To be honest, not not just the turnout from the away support, but certainly the the atmosphere that well maybe the atmosphere potentially but generally the fact that from minute one from it well from minute zero kick off 90 minutes that ultra section didn't really stop and it was quite amazing to see and I remember like the, there was sort of like two occasions when Hibs were down like playing down the other end in the first half and yeah like the Martin Boyle dive you know there was a lot of banner from that one there was Penalty that was given that was right under our noses. Never a penalty, in my opinion. I haven't watched it back, and there was just sheer out uproar from all around us. It was just all over the shop. And then when the penalty was saved as well, that was, yeah, that was good. some limbs as well. It was quite mad, but uh, yeah, it was certainly a good game of football. But yeah, all in all, good, good for the neutral, definitely. Mm. Had a bit of everything. Red card as well. Rob McKay. I, I mind we we seen it from like the other end of the pitch. We're like that's never a send enough. And you watch the replay, and he's like, <laughs> literally the ball's down like ten yards away from him. He just comes <laughs> and back off him. So, I yeah, a it was a, it was just such a fair distance, wasn't it? It was, you know, it was, you know, we just couldn't really see what was going. On. It was one of these ones where he gives a red card, and you think, why is he going that? It's not last man. It's not. Goal, well, it could be a goal scoring opportunity, but there's still plenty of defenders behind the ball. But, well, that's why I, I got remember, the first right? Game. I it was, came back, actually. It's uh, cynical to put it lightly. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. No, I kind of knew, but at, at first, when I was there, I didn't see it as a straight red, but you know, it's arguably the case. But no, it, was, it was a lot of fun that night, to be fair, and you know, to have seven goals going was a lot of fun, and to experience Aye. that was. Something a bit different for myself, being a lower league supporter, and there's probably about that many, that many fans of the game as there were away fans that night, probably. So, no, uh, not far. That's maybe one thing to argue. Um, Am I back in the room now, boys? Yeah, you're okay now. Yeah, I'm not. Right, sure. good, good, <laughs> good. Your your sim bin time over. What? <laughs> your sim bin time over. Sure. So you can book in and you're off. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I've got myself the headphones on your side. Um, so that so we'll go on both of those as like your sort of joint best. Well, um, yeah, Scotland one. Don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think the biggest game. Like, yeah, I uh, probably both of them joint for atmosphere in terms of, and then uh, football and spectacle as well. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Certainly your own opinion, of course. Um. Yeah, we'll move on. Uh, Cammy Hall, uh, your best game you've been to in terms of the game itself or atmosphere, and then the biggest one that you've been to in terms of the magnitude and what's on the line? Uh, best, my, my best one was Partick against Partick at home with Hearts. Oh, I don't know what season it would be. It would probably be about 0-1 or 0-2. Big Mark DeFree comes off the bench and scores a hat-trick. Different gravy. different gravy, what a player. Um, and um, most important game would probably be the 3 2 over Israel, I think. Like the Slovakia one was big, but I think, like, performance wise, the Israel one. There was a lot, there was certainly a lot in that game. It was very topsy turvy, a bit nervy as well. And me being the biggest Scotland supporter, it was, I was yeah. just. A, all over the place that night. Uh, you were hammering on right. Patterson. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was that uh, when Biram Kyle scored that. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> but yeah, that was that was mad that night. Um, Biram Kyle goal was frightening. Mm, and then they thirty yards at least. McGregor saved right on the eighth minute. Too. That was. Mm. Uh, that was mm. that was a good yeah. save. Yeah. yeah, that game went either way easily. 
the other the other suggestion the other thought I might have had and that's just come to my mind for yourself was a game that Don and I went to the Edinburgh Derby in the Scottish Cup. Oh uh, yeah, I, it wasn't that's a good game. Though. I was, wasn't I was thinking about that, but but Derby's only big to have uh, to Hearts fans because uh, they mm. won, always won them. <laughs> <laughs> just like a guaranteed win, eh? That's the only think, game you can win. Nah, that was, that was a big game, but I think atmosphere-wise, the Partick game was frightening because, like, it was literally my first game, and the face just just came on and absolutely romped that. And then, yeah. um, the Scotland one was kind of a bigger deal. I would say the I'd say the final, the derby, but I didn't get I, I didn't get a ticket for it, so I couldn't go. Mm. So, yeah. but. That that would be my too. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Nothing else you want to add, no. No, that's it, mate. Yeah, no worries at all. Go uh, down to Don next. I've so, I, I've said so, before, I've got an idea of what Don might say, but yeah, the biggest, so, best, like, and the biggest games. So um, internationally, I agree with Lewis. I think the Slovakia game was my top game I've been. To. I think just the emotion of scoring that league goal was just crazy. I mm. mind I had Cammy and Baldy on top of me, and I was. I couldn't breathe. It was it was that bad, but it was some emotion. I think we. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd like we'd hit the post a couple of times. I think we'd come close and had a penalty. Maybe that could have been given. And I thought, oh, this is just getting away from us. And eventually, we got a wee sloppy late goal from Big Chris Martin himself. And that was it. Was some reaction when the goal went in? It was early, buzzing. Barkle's day. It was a great reaction. Early, early red card for them as well. Sorry? Right Early back, red card for Slovakia that night as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. It was two yellow. Was it another West Winger? That was a <laughs> that, that daft red. I think it was one diving maybe or something. I can't remember. Second, Second one was a dive. Diving, aye. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember being like three of us were there, Cami and Don, and then another pal, pal that was a pal, were there together, and it was like the, the exact opposite end. And I remember looking at it and thinking, there is definitely clear space between Craig Gordon and the boy who gets yellow for diving. And I just saw the whistle blow and I was like, oh, surely he's not going out. And then I saw the yellow. And then I had, I don't think, much like most of us in the stadium, I didn't, I don't know if anybody really recognised that it was the guy who'd already been booked until the red card eventually came out. But it could be wrong. Mm. But certainly from my, from my, I remember just thinking at the time. I mean, they were a good I team as well. I was, oh, um, they were a top side. Not top side, but they were a very good side. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That Hamsick in the uh, cam, he's a scary player. He's scary good. Yeah. Mm. He was a very, very good footballer. Well, certainly, certainly the case that, you know, he was the one that we were all a bit, of a, all a bit afraid of. And then we obviously knew about Martin Skirtle. But obviously, did yeah, I feel He had a great game. He did, absolutely. Man of the match. Man of the match and only goal scorer. End of his career when Chris Martin scored against him. How did he have fallen? Yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, on to club, Patty, I would say a lot of Saints fans believe the semi-final against Aberdeen was a better experience than the actual final itself. I felt I was more okay. emotional for them even the final. I felt we'd, we'd lost about seven or eight in a row semi-finals. I'd been to one in February of that year against Aberdeen, we'd been spunked 4 0 at Tynecastle by Aberdeen in the League Cup semi, and we just we were downbeaten. We were just that was a horrendous day that day, that semi in February. It was 4 0 going in five or six that oh, day. Oh, horrendous. That round was yeah. crazy. That was a 2 1 win. May scored twice, and it was just, there wasn't that many away fans, maybe 2,500, 2 8 maybe. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. The goal went in. Interesting. But that is not my point. My top is away to Rosenberg in summer 2013. We beat them 1-0 in a Europa League qualifier. And me and my dad went over to Trondheim uh, mm-hmm. for a Rosenberg play and had a couple of nights there. It was just unreal. When, when that goal went in first half, it was just crazy. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I, I, didn't, I, don't say, I didn't think about that. I didn't, I didn't realise that you'd been to been out away and abroad with when you, St. Johnson were in a multi European trip. So. Only the once, but that was, I probably picked the best one to go to, I think, but it was class. That one, the once in your history, eh? <laughs> Pretty much. Mm. 
Oh, that's interesting. It would have been an expensive uh, one as well, I can imagine. Just a couple that sort of stick out. I mean, we won 4 0 at Dens Park, I think, a couple of years ago. Was that that one that was pretty good? Neil uh, McCann game, was it? Park, pretty good as well. But I think they're the two ones, uh, Aberdeen semi and the uh, Rosenberg away were the top two ones for me, I would say. Hmm. Uh, for the youth classes, like the biggest that you've been to in terms of, are you going both of those, like, so I drank later with like, what was on the line in terms of how big the game was? or? Um, I think getting to the final was probably bigger for us as a club. I think we hadn't been there before and we'd come close so many times that sort of like a psychological barrier was broken. That's, that's quite deep, isn't it? But um, yeah, that's what I felt that day. We'd sort of finally broken the curse of losing every semi final we've ever played in, basically, barred I think one. So that was quite an important day for the club as a whole, I would say. Yeah, I can't, I can't even relate to that. I wasn't even at that game. I didn't go to the semi final. <laughs> I was I was playing a golf I actually played a golf match that day and didn't didn't go to the semi final. Oh, here yeah. we go. You and your golf eh? Yeah. Thank you for yeah. Um well thanks for that Don. Uh, finally just before going to myself, um Sean, any well I could I can imagine maybe it's on similar to yourself, maybe to what's already been said. But um yeah, anything that not necessarily different, you can obviously pitch in with no, you know, I, these days. Uh, a couple of different games actually. Uh, the best game I've been to was Scotland versus England two two. I did think you might say that because at Hamden Park, yeah, that was a, that was an absolutely unbelievable game. Um, I think we we actually didn't really well to hold them out England out for so long. I think it was just like the seventieth minute or the sixtieth minute or something that Oxley Chamberlain scored first, and it was down the end. I was sitting, and he was a very brave man to go for the corner flag when he when he scored. Like mm. he just got pelted with everything you could ever imagine at that corner. Um, and then obviously we had Griffiths' first free kick and then when he's lined up his second and you're thinking there's no chance he's going to do it again and then he does it again and then you're just hoping to hold on and then shoot Armstrong lets the whole country down so no it was a good finish for Kane in the end but he should defend it better but uh, no it was a really good game atmosphere was unbelievable like. mm-hmm. um, the national anthem the same a lot of like memes and videos about the anthems it seemed quite intense when at the time when they were being sung. Uh, yeah, you, you could. You, yeah, the English national anthem you, you couldn't hear it from where you were sitting in the in the stadium. Like I mean, the Scottish fans just completely drowned it out. But like, you couldn't hear a thing in the English national anthem. Were you? At been... all. Oh no. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> 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 but no, you could you couldn't you couldn't hear it at all. Um, but. Yeah, no, that was a really good year. That's probably the best game I've been to, to be honest with you. That, there's not many that can come close to that one. Um, just the whole thing around it. And to be honest with you, it, it was just the atmosphere was un, unbelievable. Um, yeah, I think, well, I think I went where, I actually went with you and McSween, Don. Yeah. I went with you and McSween. And I think but the, but the, when the second goal went, I think we were about 15 rows apart or something. Like, couldn't, they, couldn't even remember where they were sitting. Like, boys just picking you up and throwing each other and everything. It was just my But Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that was that was a real good game. Um, the biggest game, I'm going to go for the Scottish Cup final. Yeah. Because to win the Scottish Cup for the first time was incredible. Uh, it wasn't the most enjoyable game. I, I didn't enjoy a minute of it, to be honest with you. Until the final whistle, <laughs> I didn't enjoy any of it at all. But the um, biggest game for St. Johnson, yeah, Scottish Cup final. I get to enjoy yeah. it. Can we ask? What? Hmm? Can we ask your response to the question? What's your biggest four for a game you've been to? Ah, he's getting to it. Good luck, <laughs> uh, Not off the hook, I'm wanting him a full answer from Pai. I don't know, it's difficult. Um, four for two, what do you get to St. Johnson this season? Did he uh, mention that? There were certainly a few I enjoyed. Um, yeah, it's difficult. Don't tell me you've not thought of an answer oh, to the question. Yeah, you've yeah, just come yeah, up with some belters here. Well, this one. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is it. Like, I was going to put, I was gonna put in the group chat beforehand and say, you know, I've, I've thought these questions for a couple of days and I've had them in my mind for a couple of days and I still don't know the answer to them, really. But, um... It not be that difficult. You support for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, only a big, big game in your life. <laughs> It was certainly a couple. <laughs> it was certainly a couple of events. I think the one that kind of sticks out is the two, 2016 Ladbrokes League One playoff final, second leg. 
Peter had one, four for five. Oh, seven. this is the one where you ran across the pitch after the game <laughs> on YouTube, yeah. didn't you? Seven, seven, two, seven, two on aggregate. Um, oh, I've got to get that video in, that, in this, by the way. It was an incredible day. Um, first time I'd really gone on a real away day, pretty much. Um, but yeah, going up in the supporters' bus up to get ahead and getting up there again, I was thinking it was from the start, it was a horrible day. And obviously, you can imagine with it being right on the seaside, but um, up north, but. Yeah, that's plenty. Early goal went in, and you're thinking, "Wow, this is actually doable." And then second one goes in, two 0 at half time. Three, four, five. Oh, oh, I think we've lost. Lost him. on, yeah. Lost him. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming back. He's sure. coming back. Him. No, he's coming back. Aye. I don't let him back in. No, he's no. But um, yeah, it was certainly. Oh. It was certainly a. An experience and then obviously to be part of the invasion at the end was something quite special. There's a famous photo of um that went in the local papers the day after and it was the team four and then it's just me going like that in the background. <laughs> That's the only one you can see in response to the photo. But uh, I was a brilliant Did you did did you just refer to that as a famous photo? Well I've never <laughs> I maybe said that. Did you just refer to it? If off of Peter the head, you behind the team celebrating as a famous photograph. Pretty much. Yes or no? Scottish Didn't League you? One playoff semi final. <laughs> but, <laughs> iconic. But, yeah, Matty, Matty, I've got a question, right? See when, so you obviously won the playoff final, you went up to the championship. What happened after that? I was, I was the league, so it was technically the League One, so it meant. League Two and the League One. Qualifying into League One. Right. I was going to say, I didn't think Popper had been that high. Aye, I was, I was confused. Uh, to go between the Championship playoff and then, and then the League One playoff. What but, happened? Um, that? Sorry? Did you get relegated after that? Or did you stay up? Oh, I can't remember now. What no, it's still, there now. it's still there now, so you can't have gone down. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't go down at all. Yeah. But uh, if you've not seen the YouTube video of of this event, but I, I think you should edit it in. The third person from the left that runs on the pitch yeah. when this game yeah. is yeah. is Patty with a red hood on. <laughs> genuinely, get this in this video, Patty. Oh, that was it's like a hyperlink. <laughs> there, yeah. if you're watching, right? Click there just now. I will take <laughs> you take you away from this I'll nonsense. I'll try and put the uh, highlight video from Peter. Patty, can I ask? What's Patty, that? The cup tire. We got that one. The famous League Cup one went. Um, was it three, yeah. three or something? Or it was. It was one one. Uh, oh, went into extra time and we lost. We lost in extra time. Um, it was it went down to nine. Well, the Forfers good parts, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it was it was mad because I remember that game pretty well. That's another good one actually. It was I remember. Big Rab Douglas saving the penalty. One that was an amazing save, by the way. Plugs out of the corner like fast. He's like 42 at the time. He's just, oh, I was mad. And 42. <laughs> bloody Kevin McCarty yeah. scored the opener Thank for Hearts that night. Um, oh, real, real, pretty good finish. And then I remember long ball, 40 yards free kick over the, over the top. Um, Hearts couldn't defend it. And Big Mikey Dunlop. Heads it up and over <laughs> and into the corner. Uh, <laughs> party, party. Send it for extra time. Three seasons later, we came up and played you in a friendly. Remind me of that score? Is it 5 or 6 1 or something like that? I five or six one and what, what team was it they put out? Uh, we've talked about this. I'm not going into that. That's all I'm saying. Right. We'll forget about that. So that's probably the best one. Another one probably was uh, a Boxing Day league, go- league game. Between fourth and Clyde finished four three that day. Whoa. Mad. It was there's two there's two teams that can't defend. <laughs> Gavin Gavin Swanky with a absolute twenty five yard curl of top ends. Then we went two oh. one down going into the half. And you know what Clyde fans like they're quite exuberant. Don knows as well. Like, no, I don't know what the Clyde fans are like. I'm not play Clyde no. <laughs> <laughs> Um But uh, aye, so there was that and then we were two one down at half time. I think we brought it back to two all, and then they scored a penalty to make it three two, like three two. 
and then we spent two in the last ten minutes on a soggy boxing day. So, soggy boxing day. Soggy. In the last <laughs> ten <laughs> minutes, and four that was, just... was mental. Brilliant. No, it's okay though, because both those teams have plastic pitches, so there's no, there's no doubt that they're going to continue. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Essentially, that's the two best that stick in my mind. The biggest, uh, it's difficult. I've been to a couple of big game games. Awful, um, in terms of overall, overall sporting, like overall sporting general event, I have been to the Olympic football. Um, it's a little bit off the wall when oh, London, football, <laughs> London 2012 at Hamden. I was even Spain. Hot that's what yeah. I feel. It's, it's, aye. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that the famous selfie party? No, that was the Commonwealth Games. That was the Commonwealth Games. I had the, I had the running track there. Um, but yeah, I watched Spain with... Instagram. I watched Spain with David De Gea and goal. Juan Mata was in the team, I think. Um, there was quite a few recognisable Spanish names. And they lost 1-0 to Japan. Um, which was... Quite, which was quite funny to watch, and then it was the first time. I think it was the summer that David De Gea moved to United, so it was kind of interesting for me to get to have a look at him, and it was good to kind of support him a wee bit. And then, uh, yeah, I think the other you know, game that really he's struggling for big days when he's talking about the Olympics. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the thing thing. Thing. is empty. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. and then it was that, and then Honduras against. Morocco was the other game of things. Oh, 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 we were FC Mints, Sean, weren't we? Oh, we were the FC Mints, but my team knocked it, uh, beat the FC Mints last weekend, so get in there. I'm on the <laughs> rook, 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 rook. <laughs> but, um, Aye, so that's like sort of the biggest occasion, you could say, but I have been to champ, I think it was a 20, what was it, 2008 Champions League quarter final between oh, oh. Oh, Manchester United and Porto. That's bigger than Honduras. I was going to say, why are you even talking about the Olympics? Oh, it's the Olympic Games, and I just thought it was a nice little one to slip in there. It was just a fun one. I don't know how many football fans care about the Olympics, to be honest. But, but, you know, I've been to Champions League for a while, Manchester United's Porto for two all that night. Um, Is that the one where Porto knocked them out? No, it was the one where Ronaldo scored the scheme on the second leg. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, that was a absolute scorcher. And that was the year that United went on to win it. So, um, yeah. Maybe, I, maybe it was the final that year, was that the Moscow Chelsea, final? Chelsea, wasn't it? That yeah, was the yeah. Moscow final, the John Terry slip. John Terry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was pretty mad. And then also, it was, I, I won't be afraid to say as a United fan, that, that's of sorts, of sorts. Poro did make most of, the noise, most of the noise that night. It was quite a good atmosphere. Um. I think, I think was it, it may have been James Rodriguez that maybe scored that night. I don't know. That may have been a bit early. I think it was Rodriguez that scored to make it 2 2 in the last few minutes or so, but I may be wrong in thinking it was James Rodriguez. I so, somebody somebody do with James Rodriguez. I'm, I'm on. <laughs> 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 Just Hi. Hi. What's that? Was it a good night out afterwards? I was 11. I love a little party, get mad at it. <laughs> but, like, so I remember being on my way back from holiday and we'd stopped off in Manchester and I'm like, what's going on here? And dad just goes, my dad just goes to the ticket office and says, can I get my four tickets, please? And I was like, what? I was just in awe at that point. It was pretty mental, but yeah. That deal, was that a sale I think so. It's, cool. it's a little bit vague in my memory in terms of, I remember... I don't remember who scored the United's first goal. I think Carlos Tevez scored the second. And it was a bit of a... James Rodriguez played 63 times for Porto between 2010 and 2013. Okay. Okay. I was a bit out there. But I thought... I knew it was... I'm sure it was Rodriguez that scored the second goal, but I can't remember. 
But a, little bit, a little bit vague in my mind, but, you know, I might have dragged myself on a wee bit on that one. But certainly one of the biggest games I went to in terms of its, you know, Champions League and all that. But, so, uh, yeah. are you busy researching, Don? Uh, Sean? Chris, Christian Rodriguez. Christian Rodriguez, okay. Uh, oh, good memory, Patty. You said something. You said something, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, fourth minute of the game. What was that? Eh? Fourth minute. The fourth. Gonzalez that scored in the 89th minute. Ah, right, okay. Right, so I got that the wrong way around, but was it? Aye, but was Tev- 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 did score, yes. Yeah. Was, Tev- was it not Rooney or Ronaldo? Was it Rooney scored the first one? Uh, Rooney 15th minute and then Tevez 95th. Oh, was it Rooney? Okay. I didn't realise Rooney's goal was so early in the game. But... 